It's time for my summer car. You want to say hi, John? Say hi. Daddy. Say hi. hi. Say hi. hi. Say hi. hi. Say it. Hi. All right. Don't you do that. Don't stick your fingers in there, man. If I shift gears, that's going to like smoosh your finger, Mater. How's everybody going? It's time to go back to 1995. Jeremy Strasswa, alien, hello. How's everybody doing? It's time to get started. Chuck pointed out that I missed a bolt. <laughs> Goofy boy. My stress level is high. My fatigue is moderate. <coughs> silly, silly matey. Oh, is that my phone? I thought I'd feel it. Wiggling in my pocket. Wiggling in my pocket. What'd you did, Seth? Oh, Grant. Seth's playing Grand Theft Auto riding the train. It's great in the Grand Theft Auto that you actually don't slip off the train while you're riding it. Hey, peeing. Excuse me, John. It's not appropriate. There's a train car right here. If you fall off the train and jump back on it, you can actually get back on the train while swimming. Oh, that's crazy. Nothing can stop the train also. Yes, no, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> no, I have photos that I have to edit. Um, I came home, and then, like, I... So, here's my... I went to... I did two shoots today, and then I was supposed to meet my friend for lunch. By the time... We hadn't met for a couple weeks, so it, we, like, talked for hours. By the time we got done, it was 4 o'clock, so I got home at, like, 4.10. And as soon as I got home, my ex-wife called and said it was time to pick the kids up, so then I had to leave again. So then I got home, and it was, like, 5 o'clock, and I had a headache from driving around all day. So then I got home and then I just went, I took a nap. So now I just woke up and so no, I don't have all my work done just in time. Uh, let's see. It is a quarter after 10. So we got, it's, it's still morning. What's up? CEO thunder. Um, we need to get the car. I need to get under the car. That's good. That's yes, Jeremy. <laughs> yeah, maze is corn. Yes, I don't know why you're saying that, but okay. Hey, thank you for the subscribe, gaming nerfer. I appreciate that. What's up, gaming nerfer? All right, we need to push the car back into the garage, and we need to turn the bolts for the wheels sixty. And I need to um, there. Chuck pointed out on one of my videos that I missed a bolt, or last night he was talking to us, and I missed a freaking bolt, so that's not good. Oh, weird. My channel's not on the Xbox? What? What's up, hot Rodan? <laughs> Rodan? I think the car is... It's going to turn... Oh... Oh, oh, no, I'm not taking you to my mom's house tomorrow. Stop. No, not today. It's already, it's, I just, no, you don't. What do you need money for? What? 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 Because we want to know. What do you need to buy? You guys are ready for Farm Sim tomorrow? That's good to hear. Oh, I gotta put those back. Shucks, son! Oh, shizzle sticks. Ah, uh, we could we could have predicted that would have happened, right? Oh no, CO Thunder, you're stuck. Well, at least you have roadside assistance. Just a minute. That's uh, it's ironic that the plate is VB X. As, as volatile blue is my moniker. I'm sorry, Evelyn. Don't don't you snap your fingers at me. Floof. How much is floof? How much is it? I'm asking you for a specific reason. How much is floof? Well, what I'm telling you is I will have you earn the money. If you clean that stupid bedroom that I've been asking you to clean for the last six months, I will buy it for you. There's a chore for you, and then I'll buy you floof. There is no goal aside from I need to get the back suspension on. I need to get the wheels aligned again because I missed it. Um, or they've changed since for some reason they changed. Oh, my roof got smushed. Crap. 
Uh, and what else do we need to do? Um, I, I missed a bolt, a 10 millimeter bolt, so I'm going to fix that. Love you too, John. Six hundred dollars? That ain't gonna happen. No, it costs that much, really. I think that's how much. Look up VBLU guitar. VBLU guitar. That is my Twitch channel. Oh, you brought me some Fig Newtons. Thank you. Mmm, Fig Newton. Boy, I was walking on the roof. I got a Fig Newton in my mouth, and I can't talk. For Newton. The gosh darn train. I don't know, Seth. I don't rightly know. Now the question is, hmm. Hmm. so what we need to do first? The first things first. We need to get a ten millimeter. So give me a glass of ice water, kid. Please. Oh, that's cool, Lee. You're going to love it. Track IR is the best with ATS. I don't use it for anything else. You can use it in Farm Sim. Because um, I don't... Pick that up, please. I don't really love wearing a hat while I play, but I do... What you want, guys? I know. It was, it was, there we go, Chuck. Yes. It's by the alternator. Uh, I'm under here. The alternator is where? Over here? No, it's over on this side. Yeah, of course the train comes right after I die. Um... I gotta go upstairs and do it, I guess. Um, who was it? Uh, Brian Regan was talking about um, Fig Newtons. He's like, he's like, who the heck eats one Fig Newton at a time? Because he's looking at the serving sign. He's like, I eat them by the sleeve. <laughs> uh, oh, he's got the pro clip too. That's cool. Mine just has the regular clip, but I only play really at nighttime. Or give it to me, John. Anyway, um, hang on. Do I think having Hang on, let's see here. Ah, uh, you can we can lock ourselves out of the car. Where where's the alternator? Where's the alternator? Where's the ten millimeter bolt? I might not be able to get it from here. I have to morph through the car. Uh, listen here, kid. Stop it. Hello, new follower. Uh, so anyway, um, I don't remember what I was talking about. <laughs> it's, it's all over now. <laughs> oh, the tracker. Uh, I just, there it is. I got it. Uh, thanks. There it is. That was it right there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that could have been a big, big problem down the road. That's all right, John. Just go ahead and eat it. Fine. You think having HD, let's see, having HDD for videos and SSD for everything else is a good idea. Yeah, I mean, you know, honestly, video only records at a certain um, bandwidth. So th the requirements for HDD versus SDD are, as far as your throughput, it's the same. So you can record just as fast to HDD as you can to SDD. SDD does not, unless you're doing like 4K, I don't think it's, it gives you any benefits. So, um, yeah, you're fine doing that. Um, so thank you, Chuck, again for saving my bacon. I'm going back under here, actually. I just realized I also need to uh, realign the wheels. Somehow they got up messed up. I need to figure out what bolt size. It's not 10. So we'll start small and work our way up. Unless, Chuck, unless you know the bolt size for the... Um, for that thing. Can I reach it from here? So, um... I would say SSD for your operating system and the games that you mainly play. Um, so, like, Farm Sim for me is on my SSD drive, but I don't have a lot. 12 or 14, okay. You can see right here how, how badly out of alignment the wheel is. Um, and I'm not sure how that happened because I had them nicely aligned, and I haven't. But maybe changing the suspension caused them to mess up. So uh, It's not that size. Let's try a 14. There we go. All right. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna. Oh, it. What? You I can't turn it. You daddy. You Are you daddy. lagging, Chuck? I'm sorry. You call daddy. You call. Um. Okay. Is the bad news that I can't use this on? This is jammed. It's not working. 
Yeah. It's not moving at all. Uh, is it broken? Daddy. Dad, guess what? Told them in one or two clicks. <laughs> Dad. Dad? No, I can't move these. Um, I think I have to have the wrench. Don't Do I have to have the wrench? Does anyone know? Which sucks because that's in the station wagon. <sighs> yeah, and that would make sense because it is that kind of bolt. So, dag nabbit. Now I gotta go get the wrench. <laughs> I gotta drive and get the wrench. Ah, <sighs> my life. Driving that one car. Your life is awesome. My life's very good, actually. Yes, you're right, Seth. Um. So anyway, I use I have just the regular track IR clip, and I've been very happy with it. The only thing I can't do, there's one bedroom light that's um next to my bed, and if I use that light, um, it my my uh. Uh, yeah, I was trying to swap rotation, but it didn't work. Um, if I don't, if I turn my bedroom light on, it screws up my track IR. Um, so you have to have the light either to the side or behind your computer. So like my windows are behind my computer, which is great, because then it just my computer just. Uh, I don't know what I was gonna say. I forgot. Oh, so that uh, during the daytime I can play my truck sim and I don't I don't lose my track IR ability. Gosh, I feel like we're just running out of food like crazy. But not cigarettes. Uh, it's not super sensitive. It just has to be... You can't have a light source behind you when the track IR is working. Uh, now, if you have the, the LED track IR like, like what you got, Lee, then I think you can have a light back there, and it doesn't really matter because it just looks for the LEDs. So. so I'm wondering, should we put the rear suspension on first or should we go to town? It's Tuesday. I suppose I could grab some groceries. Oh, we could stop and do the we could do the kill you run too. So let's go ahead and do that because we have very little money. So we will we'll run to the we'll run to the the we'll get our kill you buckets. We'll stop in town and grab the tool kit, and then we'll uh, we'll we'll run over to the drunk's house and give him the oh duh my spark plugs need to warm up uh, while we're doing that yeah. <laughs> And then we'll come back and do the rear suspension because we'll get the car all together. That will be done. It'll be all, it'll be all together. It'll be all together. What's up, Foxel? Okay. Works fine. There you go. Cool. That's cooly. Yeah, I'm almost out of dough. You can go for a walk. Take your sister with you, though. I don't want you going by yourself. Take your phone, too. Really low on dough. What's the matter, Seth? I don't know what any of that means. Well, he must have. That must be all he does. All he does is plays that. You have made the last version of your PC build. There you go, gamer. Cool. Glow plugs. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> yeah, because the spark plug does. Does a, a diesel have a spark plug? I don't know that it does. <laughs> Whoa. Erk. You got a 20 to 30 second lag. Yuck. Yeah, that happens. So we're going to swing by the junkyard on the way to town. We're going to go to the right. And then we'll swing back around the back way and pick up, hit the drunk's house on the way home. The glow plugs heat up the oil. Okay, so the oil then flows and then it gets the gas flowing. And what? Well, you can talk to her, but she doesn't want to. Kid you. That's so funny. An organic drink. That's cool, Chuck. You made credit card debt? I know. That's how mine... Yeah. My original build of this computer was pretty much on credit. That'll never happen again because I'm out of credit. <laughs> and now it's starting to rain. Ooh. Oh, dude, that sucks. If you're outside your car and it's raining, oh, yeah. <laughs> That's so funny, Gaming Nerver. <laughs> Gaming Nerver said whenever he starts his dirt bike, it shocks him. Those are pretty good spark plugs. Putting out some good voltage there. <laughs> Reaching across the, the gap to electrocute you. Mm. 
I don't think so. I think the glow plugs are really only for when it's cold outside, like, like, like probably freezing, like below freezing. Because I think, the, I think above that, you know, it, it takes just a, st a second for it to warm up. So, yes, Seth, what do you want? You want to do something today? Well, today's almost over, so you better figure out what it is and then go do it. Because <laughs> it's already almost eight o'clock. Oh, there you go, 44. Okay, that's kind of weird. Seth, what do you want? Like what? By the time I'm done, it's going to be almost 10 o'clock, and I have to go for a walk. There, that's, that's it. And then it's done. I'm done. Okay, so the coil is shot if you're getting shocked. I've never heard of that before, but it's pretty funny. I don't think I fastened my seatbelt. I didn't. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, we're stopping right now. I've died too many times. Oh, that's funny. Your auto teacher from high school teaches classes at the community college. Hey, man, anywhere they can get work, right? Well, there you go, CO Thunder. Hopefully, you can use your phone to keep yourself dry. Just put it over your head. If it's an iPhone, it's, you know, partially waterproof, so. Smart boy. I hate this part. Oh, yeah. Yep, so we need to get the wrenches. We probably should get some gas, though I'm gonna be running myself right out of right out of money here. I'm almost out. <coughs> Pardon me. Choking. Ah, HD 727. Hey, it's a great airplane by the way. Haven't been on a 727 in a long time. I think they're pretty much, except for privatized air, airlines, they're out of business or out of uh, out of circulation. They don't use them anymore. Classic airplane, though. It's Google Pixel 2. Oh yeah, so it's not waterproof then. Yeah, so maybe he messed up the coil. I wonder how much an ignition coil for one of those little bikes cost. It can't be too expensive, but... By the way, how is the Google Pixel 2? I don't even know what that is. It's a Google phone. That's kind of cool. Really? I like Google. Google is our friend. They track us. They tell us what we need to know. They share advertisers, advertising with us that's relevant towards our lives. It's great. You use my summer car as a work simulator now? <laughs> Are you doing mechanic simulator? Ooh, with the AC-10 Warthog and the Track IR? Yeah, that's a lot of fun. I played that... Uh, Mitsutayu sent me that uh, flight game. Um, I forget what it was called, and I, I was playing with it. And it's actually really good with the, with the uh, IR tracker. Let's be able to look around the cockpit. They got a gaming smartphone? No, that's pretty cool. I haven't seen it, but that sounds cool. Ten to fifty dollars. Whoa. You had the Nexus before? The Google Nexus. I remember the ne I remember the Nexus. Back when it was sweet. I don't know. I don't. Flight sims are kind of hard to do for YouTube and stuff because they're just kind of. There's not a lot to it. You just take off and land. Uh, but I did like that game. It was pretty cool. I could do another. I could do another episode of it at some point. Maybe you could do like a one hour or less. Take off from like Las Vegas and land in somewhere in California. Who's going to play games on a phone? I would. I mean, I, you know, I guess I just play the Switch, though. So, Fortnite on the phone. Yeah, they do have it on the phone, don't they? Flight Sim since 98. I love Flight Sims, actually. I really am a huge Flight Sim fanatic. I was playing the I was playing Microsoft Flight Sim back when it was version 4. Or Bruce, version 5, Bruce Artwicks. Yeah, I've done a lot of Flight Sim. Oh, that couch is mobile. I thought it would just stop. <laughs> Oops. All right. Uh. 
probably just leave the van running, huh? All right, here we go. Two months. I can, the only my only problem with any of the phones that aside from the iPhones is that I always break the USB ports. I'm just a little too rough, I guess. Are these? Uh, do I have all four wheels? Yeah, I do. Okay, I got my rally wheels. That's cool. We need to get tires put on those. We're gonna have some killed you. What? Yeah, put it up on the uh, shelf. That's fine, Seth. That's fine. No hang, no bag ups, no hang ups, no baggage. Yeah, yeah, I know how that is, Seth. I know. That's right. I will not be happy about you breaking my drone because that's only a thousand dollars. I'm gonna have to buy another one soon anyway. I'm looking at the new Mavic Pro, which is pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, I would play. Yeah, I know a lot of people don't like iPhones. They're pretty much goofball phones. Hey, what's up, Redneck? Um, I just like... Uh, what's up, Gator? I'm not a phone guy. I don't. I never got... I was like a really late adopter into cell phones. Like, They were already on flip phones by the time I got my first cell phone. Um, I just didn't... I, I wasn't uh, very interested in the technology. The DJI Inspire. Oh, I'd get the Inspire if I had $5,000. <laughs> They're so expensive. It's a great product, but it's just too expensive. And honestly, the smaller one is much easier to move around, you know, so it's like I don't have to worry about it breaking in the back of the car. It's, you know, I've had three of the, the Phantom models, and I've been very happy with them. The first the first one was the Phantom 2 Plus, or the Phantom, yeah, the Phantom 2, just the regular 2. And then I got the Phantom 2 Plus that had the 3D gimbal on it. And then... Uh, and then I got the uh, the Phantom 3 Advanced, and I'm very happy with that. So, or Pro or whatever. I, mean, I think it's the Pro. That's so funny, Foxel. <laughs> yeah, the Inspire is really cool. It's just way too expensive for me. It's a, it's a good one. Uh, I'm glad it's not raining CO Thunder. You should change your name to CO Staying Dry. Uh, uh, stay in dry. Okay, I'm stop. I'm stop. I'll stop. <coughs> oh my gosh, I'm sorry. The Mavic Pro is the one I'm looking at, though. It's because it folds up nice and neat. Some of the little ones are cool too, but they just don't handle the wind, and they don't have the range that mine that I need for what I do. So I had to photograph a uh, a rubber facility tonight. They make all kinds of different rubber products, and. Uh, uh, I don't know, Gator, however long it goes. Probably 9.30, I would imagine. And uh, so it was a big facility, and I had to fly all around it with the uh, drone, so... <laughs> Sorry. What's up, Noopy? I've hit the maximum... Oh, no, 80 is the maximum speed. So yeah, probably an hour and a half again. We've been going for about half an hour, so that seems to be me about. Uh, to do about. I usually try to do two hours. That's four episodes. Yeah, I don't know. Forty four Magnum. I think so. I think the way I just think the way they just laid it out. It's it's laid out better, so it doesn't pick up the the blades. My biggest problem is not necessarily getting the blades in the shot, but getting the uh, leg. My left leg always seems to go into the shot, which makes me crazy, but what are you going to do? It depends on how windy it is. But it's also super expensive, so I don't know. <laughs> the Dodge Van. Okay. Uh, so anyway, the uh, um, I do like the uh, um, the Mavic. But the Phantom 4 Pro, the, like the Phantom 4 is probably the, what the, the better one for me anyway. Gosh, I almost did that again. So, anyway, the Mavic's cool though. I think the camera's better on the Phantom 4, but I'm still waiting for the 5 to come out so the price comes down on the 4, and then I'll buy a 4. We should probably stop and get gas. What's the matter, Seth? You have a parrot? You have swimming flippers at your mom's house? 
Oh, that's good. Yeah, Jeremy, you have a Dodge truck. You've been pretty happy with it, haven't you? <laughs> I rock. <laughs> Whatever. Gator looks at a new truck every week. Don't take it to heart. <laughs> My brother-in-law has a Dodge he's very happy with. A big Ram pickup truck. Not sure. Yeah. He bought it new. It was his first new car ever. And uh, he's got it. He's had it for several years now. Probably six, it's probably six years old now, five years old. Just loves it. And he drives all over the country in it. So it's a. It's. I think it's. It's not diesel, is it, Seth? It's got one of those. It's really cool though. Like you can lower and raise it. So like when you're going off road, you can press the button and it raises and everything. It's really. Cool. It's a cool truck. I gotta admit, it's pretty cool. Wait. The gas tank's on this side, right? Yeah. All right. Yeah, turn the handbrake on. Turn the truck off. What are we forgetting? We're not forgetting anything. We got everything. What's up, big tall man? You got the worst car prize at school. <laughs> 3,500 diesel. That's huge. I think the one that we used to to haul Mark's car, correct me if I'm wrong, I think it was a 1500, but it might have been a 2500. It was a diesel. And man, that thing was freaking huge. It was a big truck. Well, a Dodge Ram 1500 would be a truck. <laughs> Like, yeah, that's Dodge Ram, yeah. They don't make Dodge Ram uh, Challengers. <laughs> you having some FPS issues? Oh, look, this guy's waiting this time. He's just sitting there. Look at that. Now that I'm not on the bus. Something must have happened. He got stuck. Lightning spotted. Lightning. <laughs> Lightning. Mm. Well, that sucks. Don't get on the bus. Yours is in the long box. Uh, I I heard that. It's starting up. It's gonna run me over. Well, that's good, Lee. Someone's having every, somewhere somewhere. Someone's having. Oh, you're on the Platinum DLC map. Is that making your frame rates go low? It shouldn't. I usually don't have any issues. But then again, even on my laptop, though, I don't have issues. No, so we're going to get a snack. Um, oh, man, I'm really hungry. <coughs> Pardon me. I got beer in there too, though, so we'll see. Yeah, See you later, buddy. Oh, that's funny. That's funny, Gator. Eight foot box, one ton. Sometimes you just got to pee. What's up, Jay Brosnia? Hey, thanks so, so much, man. Oh, I wish you could stick around, but we'll see ya. Nom nom. All right. I feel much better. I weed. I drank. I'm going to drink some more. Hiccup. 120 gigabytes is enough. No. <laughs> no, 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 no. 250 minimum, my friend. I'm sorry to tell you that, but 250 minimum. I've got a 250 in my art computer, my, my graphic design computer that I use for all my editing and stuff, and it. I wish to God I would have gotten a bigger drive. I am always running out of space, and that's all I have on there is the operating system. So, no, get make sure you get at least a 250. I would say a 500 probably would be the best. So, uh, it's 250 is just, or one, 128 is just way too small. The operating system itself will take up almost that much. So... 
I know you want to. I know everybody wants to skimp out on how much they pay, but if you're going to do that small of an SSD, it really is almost not worth it. So, 6 p.m. Oh, you got to go to class tonight. 6 p.m. Huh? Huh, weird. Yeah, I love the Star Trackers, too. So really, so on a Stancha La Pacha, you're having all kinds of frame rate issues. I guess there's a couple... Uh, all right, Gator. Take it easy, boy. All right, so we are ready to head off to... Where are we going? We're going to the drunk's house. <coughs> and we're going to get... Our, get some money because we need money bad. Hopefully he's home. Did I fasten my seatbelt? Oh, when you start your classes in the fall? Yeah. Yeah, college classes a lot of times uh, start late, you know. The death wagon spotted. <laughs> well, that's where we got our toolkit from, so. Looks like my guy's going to need to go to sleep pretty soon, though. He's getting kind of tired. I've been enjoying American Truck Simulator some on my own. I've been late night trucking and listening to Bible study. Driving all over the U.S., southern United States. He said, dang, this field's not the final time. But I have to, uh, I have to go to a... Uh, um, I just downloaded the latest Pro Mod, so I have to update that. I haven't had time to do that yet. 2500 okay it was a 2500 and the Cummings is a diesel right the Cummins the Cummins diesel is the napped in the wagon <laughs> yeah then you wake up in the middle of the night that's the downside so it could be big tall man but now that you say that I have had some issues on my test farm that has a lot of equipment with stuttering on that farm so it, it might just be the map it's a pretty big map and a lot of high detail stuff it's big tall man. If you don't want to get blocked, you gotta spell computer with an O. <laughs> yeah, no. 